Hello students, good morning students. Now it's time for your accounts class and from your book, we started chapter number 3, admission of a partner. You know that the meaning of admission of a partner. When a new person becomes a partner in the firm is considered as admission of partner. Okay, and uh, yesterday I discussed with you one topic, accounting treatment of goodwill and quite lengthy topic. That's why I divided into two lectures. Yesterday I discussed with you three or more four point today again I'm going to discuss with you three rest three points so same topic see yesterday I discussed with you the points of accounting treatment of goodwill premium for goodwill paid privately premium for goodwill paid in cash or kind and third one is premium for goodwill paid and withdrawn by all partners now the what are the objectives to understand what is goodwill, to know the purpose behind goodwill, to know the importance of goodwill, to understand the needs for goodwill. Now, need for valuation. Why accounting treatment of goodwill required? Change in profit sharing ratio among the existing partner required. Admission of a new partner. In case of retirement, it is required. In case of death, it is required. So, these all are the circumstances under which accounting treatment of goodwill required. Now my today's topic, I'm continuing my same topic with the rest points. See, first point, when the incoming partner cannot bring premium for goodwill and cash adjustment to be made through his current account. Second, hidden goodwill. And third one is when goodwill appears in the old balance sheet. So these all are the points. Now see student as according to today's three points of accounting treatment of goodwill the new term is hidden or inferred goodwill. So with the example understand what is hidden goodwill. Gaurav and Puneet whose capital in the firm stand at 50,000 and 1 lakh respectively. Okay Gaurav and Puneet both are old partners Gaurav's capital 50,000 Puneet 1 lakh. Okay respectively share profits equally equal one ratio one old profit sharing ratio they admit Suraj into a partnership for one fourth share of profits now Suraj new partner admitted and the one fourth share of Suraj available okay Suraj brings in 60,000 as his share of capital so Suraj introduced capital in the firm 60,000 in this case total capital of the firm should be how to compute total capital so if new partner Suraj capital 60,000 the reciprocal of share of new incoming partner Suraj here is 1 4 Suraj here reciprocal 4 ratio 4 divided by 1 and total capital total see total capital of the firm here is 2 lakh 40,000 computed okay now the next point here is joint capital of all three partners. So see first of all old partners capital Gaurav capital 50,000 and Puneet capital 1 lakh. Now Suraj capital 60,000 total 2 lakh 10,000 actual capital after contribution of all three partners 2 lakh 10,000 inferred goodwill how to compute. See here capital of the firm. 2,40,000 computed minus the joint capital, actual capital 2,10,000. So, 30,000 the difference is the inferred goodwill. Sura share of goodwill, how to compute? So, this one is the value of goodwill of the firm. So, 30,000, one fourth share of Sura. So, 7,500 will be credited to Gaurav and Puneet in their sacrificing ratio equally because Gaurav and Puneet both are old partner sacrificing partner so see the explanation of this sometimes the amount of goodwill is not clearly given but it is calculated on the basis of an inferred method of profit sharing ratio or capitalization in the case of admission of a partner hidden goodwill is the excess of total so hidden goodwill here is excess of total capital of the firm as calculated on the basis of new partner capital over the adjusted capital of existing partner and capital of incoming partner. So this one is your adjusted capital and this one is your 
value of the capital so after this students see open your book page number 3.16 the next point is new or incoming partner cannot bring his share of premium for goodwill in cash adjustment is made through the current account when the incoming partner not bring his share of premium of goodwill in cash so if the incoming partner does not bring his share of goodwill in cash incoming partners current account is debited for his share of goodwill and sacrificing partner capital current account credited in their sacrificing ratio the general entry here is simply one general entry required to pass so previously you know that when premium for goodwill and cash then bank account to premium for goodwill here no need to mention premium for goodwill because not in cash form so one entry incoming partners current account to sacrificing partner simply current account of the sacrificing partner are credited if fixed method capital accounts method is used so you know that ki fixed and fluctuation fluctuating method two methods are used okay so your here main entry is incoming partner current account to sacrificing partner when your incoming partner can bring his share of premium for goodwill so no need to mention premium for goodwill for his share of goodwill in sacrificing ratio directly you here distribute among the sacrificing partner and incoming partner debited with the help of example c vinay and vikesh who shares profits in the ratio 3 ratio 2 had a capital of rupees 2 lakh and 1 lakh 50000 respectively so here two old partner vinay and vikesh so vinay's capital here is 2 lakh and vikesh 1 lakh 50000 and all profit sharing 3 ratio 2 they admit vijay into partnership from 1st april 2019 on the following terms in return for one third share in the future profits c students one third new incoming partner share and the name of the new partner vijay okay so see the vijay brings in 2 lakh as a capital goodwill of the firm is valued 1 lakh 50000 vijay is unable to bring his share of goodwill in cash so pass the necessary general entry in the books of account so here the capital introduced by the vijay but not goodwill premium for goodwill in cash form unable to bring his share of goodwill in cash so simply if not in cash then one entry incoming partner means vijay current account to both partner old partner vinay and vikesh capital current account and first entry they that vijay brings in 2 lakh as a capital so 2 lakh as a capital in cash bank account debited what comes in cash comes in and debit what comes in so here bank account debited to vijay's capital account 2 lakh 2 lakh okay and the second entry incoming partner to sacrificing partner because not in a cash form so vijay's current account 1 lakh 50000 it is the value of the firm then find out the vijay's share and vijay's share is already given to you 1/3 so 1 lakh 50000 1/3 is 50000 and divided among the sacrificing partners so here sacrificing partner old partner vinay and vikesh so in which ratio 3 ratio to old ratio divide 3 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 so here vinay amount 30000 and vikesh 20000 so this one is your next fourth Uh, fifth point when incoming partner not bring his share of for premium in cash so the next point students hidden or inferred goodwill that already i discussed with you what is hidden goodwill which when the goodwill is not given to you sometimes the amount of goodwill is not clearly given but it is calculated on the basis of inferred method of profit sharing ratio or capitalization so here students steps also provided to you Number one, find out net worth. That is, incoming partners' capital multiplied reciprocal share of incoming partner. So, see, I discuss with you sixty thousand new partner capital reciprocal means first of all one fourth share of new incoming partner reciprocal four divided by one two lakh forty thousand here. So, first step is your net worth done. Now, the next less less your net worth. excluding goodwill so here the first net worth is including goodwill 
देन हाउ टू कम्प्यूट एक्सक्लूडिंग गुडविल सो सिंपली एडजस्टेड कैपिटल ऑफ ओल्ड पार्टनर प्लस कैपिटल ब्राउट इन बाय इनकमिंग पार्टनर सो सी इन दिस वे सो ओल पार्टनर ओल्ड पार्टनर एडजस्टेड कैपिटल फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वन लैख एंड न्यू पार्टनर कैपिटल सिक्सटी थाउजेंड हेयर टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड ओके और यू कैन यूज ऑल्सो वन मोर फॉर्मूला हेयर प्रोवाइडेड सेंट्रो एस एस माइनस आउटस्टैंडिंग लाइबिलिटी और इवन यू कैन यूज कैपिटल ऑफ अ पार्टनर प्लस अकोमोलेटेड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉसेज माइनस अकोमोलेटेड लॉसेस एंड सी सेकेंड पॉइंट द कैपिटल ऑफ द ओल्ड पार्टनर विल हैव टू बी एडजस्टेड विद रिजर्व अन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट प्रॉफिट लॉसेज गेन्स और लॉसेज ऑन रिवेल्युएशन ऑफ एसेट्स एंड री असेसमेंट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑन द डेट ऑफ एडमिशन सो दीज ऑल आर द स्टेप्स हेयर प्रोवाइडेड टू यू सो सी अगेन वन firstly new partner capital reciprocal share of new partner then your value of goodwill here after that net worth excluding goodwill here is adjusted capital of old partner add up incoming partner capital then how to find out inferred goodwill is simply your new value of goodwill minus adjusted here including goodwill capital and excluding goodwill capital okay difference is of 30000 then sura share you can find out new partner share easily after that now see one illustration illustration number 20th hidden goodwill rohit and ashwin are a partners with the capital of 160000 and 120000 respectively they admit ajay as a partner on 1st april 2019 for one fourth share in the profits of the firm so here see students one partner rohit old partner 160000 capital and 120000 ashwin capital clear so new partner admitted name is ajay and the share of ajay is 1 divided by 4 so one fourth share is ajay brings 160000 as his share of capital but is unable to bring any cash for goodwill so it means the case is ki not bring goodwill and cash premium for goodwill and cash so goodwill is to be calculated on the basis of ajay's share in profit so how to compute goodwill ajay's share in the profit and capital contributed by him so give the entries on admit ajay's admission regarding the capital and goodwill so first entry you know that introduced by 160000 new partner bank account to ajay's capital 160 160000 now this case is ki premium for goodwill not in cash so simply incoming partners current account to sacrificing partners capital account so here incoming partner ajay's cap current account and old partner sacrificing partner rohit capital and ashwin capital now here value of the goodwill is also not given to you then it is a case of hidden goodwill how to compute hidden goodwill see calculation of hidden goodwill and ajay's share so ajay's capital 160000 and share One fourth. First step, you know that how to compute net worth, ex including goodwill, is new partner capital reciprocal share of new partner. So here, multiply four by one, so six lakh forty thousand. Then next net net worth excluding goodwill. So here, adjusted capital of old partners. You know that adjusted capital of old partners given to you one lakh sixty thousand, one lakh twenty thousand. So here, add one lakh sixty thousand plus. One lakh twenty thousand and new partner one lakh sixty thousand total capital four lakh forty thousand. Then for goodwill valuation of goodwill deduct to four lakh forty thousand and six lakh forty thousand. Uh, so see students here goodwill of the firm will be six lakh forty thousand minus four lakh forty thousand and the difference two lakh is your value of goodwill of firm. So it it is of firm. How to compute incoming partner goodwill? Simply two lakh, and the share of incoming partner one fourth, fifty thousand share of Ajay's. So the second entry here is fifty with fifty thousand Ajay's current account fifty thousand two in sacrificing ratio equally because being the share of Ajay in goodwill credited to Rohit and Ashwin in their sacrificing ratio that is equal. Okay, so equally divided among. Both the partner twenty five thousand twenty five thousand. So this one is your method of hidden goodwill. So students, our two point 
covered. Number one point that is premium for goodwill not in cash, then hidden goodwill. Now last point when goodwill appears in the old balance sheet. So when the goodwill already appeared in the old balance sheet, it simply means that just because of the efforts of old partner and now in this case who received that goodwill only old partner see that is page number of your book 3.21 goodwill appear in the old balance sheet and incoming partner brings premium for goodwill in full or in part in in a situation following steps are followed so here students and three step number one write off the existing goodwill appear in the balance sheet by debiting the old partner's account in case of fluctuating capital or current accounts in case of fixed capital in their old ratio so here the point is what is accounting entry so here entry how to write off existing goodwill old partner's capital current account to goodwill so in which ratio old ratio because this goodwill is created just because of the efforts of the old partner so that's why no old ratio or in sacrificing ratio then again second step second entry recording the premium for goodwill bring in by the incoming partner if in cash same entry no need to alter the entry simply cash account bank account debited to premium for goodwill and the third when distributed premium for goodwill to sacrificing partner so if the premium for goodwill not in cash you know that i already now discuss with you when the premium for goodwill not in cash those simple entry is incoming partners current account to sacrificing partner so here three entries common same that already discussed with you only one entry here is new when you are going to write off the goodwill already appears in the balance sheet and the entry here is old partners capital current account debited to goodwill account so this one is your last point so here this one is your entry only single entry here new entry how to write off the goodwill appeared in the old balance sheet so it is distributed among the old partners in old ratio because efforts just for creating this goodwill just efforts by old partner so here old partner capital current account why it here the old partners debited debit the receiver the both are receiver both or three, all three so old all partners are here debited to goodwill so see one illustration illustration number 22 when goodwill exists in the books at the time of admission of a partner they when another sharing profit equally admitted current for one for share in profits current pays rupees 10000 for goodwill out of his share of 18000 so here share premium for goodwill here is 18000 and paid in cash by new incoming partner current only 10000 rest 8000 means not brings goodwill in cash goodwill appeared in the balance sheet 60000 means your old goodwill appeared okay pass the general entries we record so first entry here your first entry how to write off the goodwill already appeared in balance sheet old partners to goodwill so here old partner dev and anand dev's capital account anand's to goodwill and the amount is 60000 and in which ratio old profit sharing ratio so old profit sharing ratio equal of old partners so equally distributed 60000 equally divide one ratio one 30000 30000 so done first entry now the next entry is new incoming partner current brings 10000 in cash okay so here entry is cash account debited to premium for goodwill also same entry 10000 10000 next entry combine entry required to pass that is when you are going to provide the premium for goodwill to the sacrificing partner in sacrificing ratio so see, see in cash form your entry is premium for goodwill to sacrificing partner but 8000 not brings in cash form so here incoming partners to sacrificing partner both entries here combined so first entry premium for goodwill with 10000 and then rest part 18000 minus 10000 so 8000 not brings in cash form so here no need to mention under premium for goodwill simply incoming partners current account current account 8000 to dev's capital to anand capital both sacrificing partner in sacrificing ratio that is equally because in case only share of new partner is given to you so here old ratio is also considered as sacrificing ratio so here total 18000 divided equally among the sacrificing partner 9000 and 9000 
and the note also provided to you when the goodwill appears in the books of the firm at the time of admission of a new partner then such goodwill has to be write off among the old partner in their old profit sharing ratio so here must remember write off in case of write off of goodwill among the old partner in their old profit sharing ratio okay students so students after the adjustment of your goodwill through different methods points now your homework question time what is hidden goodwill how is it adjusted on the admission of a partner why does a new partner bring in the capital into the firm why does a partner contribute towards the premium for goodwill on his admission okay and solve sums also students 27 to 37 plus related illustration so along with your school links must watch the youtube links youtube videos for more better understanding